Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can add texture to your piece. Now we work with paint pots. So what I did is I went ahead and just pulled a paint pot set that I had from a prior painting. And I'm gonna use it as a test to show you how we can use something like Impasto Clear Gel Acrylic Medium and add it to our paint to get texture and to build those layers of texture that a lot of people want and are looking for now. So, you know, when we first started doing painting by numbers, we all kind of were trying to achieve that smooth finish. I still love the smooth finish. So it depends on what I'm painting as to whether I want to give it a textured look. So for an example, at Christmas time, I was working on a painting with Santa. So let's talk about this little painting, for example. You can see I haven't finished him yet, of course, but with this piece, I felt like Santa's beard and his mustache and his fur needed to have texture. It needed to come off of this painting and be three-dimensional because that's what it would look like in real life. So that's how you can decide what thing needs impasto. So first of all, let me kind of talk about what is impasto. I'm gonna give you the definition because I feel like that's kind of the best way to explain it, but it's basically a technique that's used with painting and it's where you lay your paint on the surface really thick and in layers. It's usually thick enough to where you can see the brush marks like I have here, or if you're using a palette knife, as most people do when they're acrylic painting, you can see the palette knife strokes. So that is what you're looking for. So that's basically a texture and it gives it some dimension when you're looking at your piece. So today we're gonna work with something that's actually called Impasto Clear Gel Medium. The medium I used on my Santa was actually the light modeling paste by Liquitex. And that Santa that you just saw, I used him for videos for exclusive VIP members only Patreon videos. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, you would have to go and join me on Patreon and join the VIP membership. It will allow you to be able to go back and watch those exclusive videos and how I use a light modeling paste to achieve that white beard texture. But today we're gonna use this. And this is by US Art Supply and it was not extremely expensive. It's a fairly large jar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of this to my potted paint, not my regular tubed paint, but my pots, so that we can see exactly how this would affect our paint pot paints. So let me just state, I'm using a cheap plastic palette knife for this. You guys, you really don't have to do this. Um, you could use something and just scoop it out and mix it with your brush on your palette. It's however you wanna do it. But I'm gonna have a couple things here I'm gonna go ahead, I haven't even opened this impasto yet. I haven't tried this one before. It's got a clear protective layer here and I'm, I'm gonna use this off of the lid and I'm gonna just scoop out some of this medium without trying to make a huge mess. Now this is supposed to dry clear so it's not gonna affect your paint once it's dry. So I'm gonna keep a paper towel handy so that when I am working between color and between mixing that I will not contaminate my paint pot with the medium. So you can see this is already a kind of a thick paint pot paint. Uh, it's very thick actually. And I'm gonna scoop this out. I'm not adding any flow aid or anything like that. But let's just see how this would be by itself. So you see, you can get a very smooth texture when it's just used by itself. So let's mix it with some of our gel medium. Hope I don't need a lot of this. <laughs> and I probably need more. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of this gel medium and we're gonna mix it in. And then I'm already starting to see a different texture but what's gonna happen is that the raised areas here are gonna stay raised. So you may not be able to see what I'm talking about, but see how smooth that is and how textured this is? So let's try to smooth it 
and it, you can smooth it, but if you want the texture, it's very easy to add the texture and leave it there, just wherever you want it. So let's add a little bit more. And you notice it's not changing the color of my paint at all, but it's thickening it up and it's super pliable and easy to work with while it's still wet. So the more of this we add, and we don't have to add a lot, I'm just trying to do this for demonstration purposes, you can use how much ever you want to work with the project that you're working on. So this doesn't need to be something that I'm telling you exactly how much to use. But you notice if I just pat this, it's leaving these peaks and these, these, this texture that is just super three dimensional. So you can see a lot of dimension there and depth. So for those of you who want to create the paint by number pieces, but you don't wanna to have to use an, a, a palette knife cause you've got like small areas and whatever to work in. Let's talk about how this works if we're using a brush. Now you see how much thicker this is, even if I smooth this, okay? Which is not super easy to do. You can see the difference in thickness just by adding the gel medium to it. It is much thicker than what I have put down without the gel medium. So it's gonna give you a thicker layer, okay? Now let's wipe this off and I will wash this in a little bit for right now. I'm just gonna set it down in my paint cup over here that you can't see, just to make sure none of that gets dried on there. I have a flat shader brush that's a size five shader, and I'm gonna do this technique, but I'm gonna use the brush and see what kind of texture we get. So using this directly out of the pot with no flow aid or anything like we would normally do, I'm just gonna show you how smooth. Now I can make this a little textured, right? But it's just a little bit of texture. Y'all probably like, stop saying the word texture, damn it. Okay, so they're just uh, layering it and layering it and layering it, but I'm getting a very smooth surface. So if I wanted to get some raised or surface, I could kind of push this around and manipulate it into a little bit of three-dimensionality there. So now let's use the brush with our paint in our clear gel medium, impasto medium. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those products, you guys, that you're gonna want. I'm just gonna tell you. So I'm gonna mix this little bit of paint with a little bit of this gel medium. And I'll be honest, I really like the finish of this in comparison to the white modeling paste. I think the white modeling paste works fabulous for what I have used it for, but this just is such another level and a whole different feeling. It's more gel than, I don't know, like foam. I can't even explain. Okay, so just using my brush and doing the same thing I was doing here that I barely got any texture with, I'm using my brush and creating a whole lot of dimension. So this is with the brush and gel medium. You just have a whole different level of manipulation with it. And then that is with no gel medium, just the paint and the brush. This is with the palette knife and this is with the palette knife. But let's go back and add a little bit more texture to that since I took it away. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush off and let's play with this a little bit more before it dries. I'm just gonna pat it and leave it. Think about how gorgeous that would be on water, you guys. I mean, so if I'm doing an ocean scene, a beach scene, my water could be three-dimensional. It could have this texture to it that is just phenomenal. I mean, it's super realistic, just like that. Wouldn't have to do much else with it. And we're getting the peaks and the little curves and the dips and the whatever that you would see in water. 
Now, what happens if we add a whole lot of this? Because I'm just curious. Since I've got it on my palette, might as well use it, right? I personally love the metal palette knives. I'll put links below for the plastic sets and the metal sets. And if you guys decide you want to get them, then you'll, you can choose. Because I'm sure there's a price difference and all that. But you can see, like, I can just add and add and add. Now, layers, when you put layers down, typically you're letting each layer dry, and then you're going back over it and add another layer. So this wouldn't necessarily be how I would do it if I was painting it. Uh, there's no real reason that I couldn't do it this way. It would just take a long time to dry. But you can see, like, amazing texture. Okay, so I know you're probably wanting me to do this on a painting. So I will do that at a future time. I just wanted to kind of show you the basis of the impasto and what you can expect out of the gel medium if you decide to get it. I know you guys are, some of you are new to pay by numbers and you're already feeling a little intimidated. Don't worry about the impasto right now. But for those of you who've been playing with paint by numbers and you're, you're ready to take it up to another level, definitely, Definitely, you guys, get this Impasto Clear Gel Acrylic Medium. Now, it doesn't have to be that brand. I will find other brands, I'm sure, when I'm looking on Amazon. Um, I was trying to find something affordable in order to test it. Now that I've tested it, I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. I love it. So, I'm loving. I keep moving it. I'm sorry. I'm loving this surface. I'm loving that texture and that, I don't know. It makes me feel like a true artist with my paint by numbers if I add this kind of texture to it. So you guys, I hope this was helpful and it kind of shows you why you need some gel medium in your life. Now, for those of you who would like to use the gel medium with your Norgeson paints, your tubed paints, imagine how much texture you're gonna get by adding this to some of that tube paint before you start. It's gonna be incredible. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna clean off my palette and say that's it for today you guys please don't forget to like this video make sure you share comment tell me if you think you would like trying this impasto clear gel medium and don't forget to join me on patreon and on facebook instagram and pinterest and i will see you back soon thanks as always for watching